hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel today i'm back with my uh, another continuation uh, for python uh, tutorials uh, i was uh, in my previous tutorial i was i had introduced you to um, to to my first video where uh, i had talked about python uh, list okay so if you uh, if you have if you are not aware about the list or tuple or etc the variables in python so you should go through that so once if you have gone through that tutorial this is the continuation to that okay so this is my uh, first uh, tutorial on list and tuple and dictionary in python so you should see this after once you have seen this you can continue and watch this tutorial which is an extension to the operations on list so today i'll talk about uh, several operations on list like uh, these many uh, i will talk about these many features which are available in a list so we'll, we'll go one by one and we'll try to understand the, the functional keys which uh, can be used while working with a list okay so let's let's go ahead and uh, try to implement it okay so i'll just take a demo uh, list okay so let's try to let's let's take a sample uh, list okay so i'll just put some random values into the list okay and then we will use this list to uh, manipulate our operations okay so yeah so we'll go ahead and we'll try to go ahead and do it okay so this is my list okay yeah so first operation is list so if you want to print the list simple list you just do print and then the list name so it will print the values okay if you want to print the value print the list using a using a string like okay let's the, the list elements are okay so if i try to add this here demo demo list if i do like this it will throw an error because here i have to you know uh, append it so i'll just append it so if i do it like this it will say string and list cannot be concatenated so i'll just convert into a string okay so this way you can print the list contents okay this is the first method which is the print method okay now we'll try the insert okay so insert is pretty simple uh, you have you just have to take the list name which is demo list in this case and then use the dot operator and then you do insert and then here you have to specify the position where you want to insert let's say i want to put i want to insert it uh, first position so if you want to insert at first position you have to give zero because zero points to the first position if you want to insert at second position you have to give one as the index and then the value let's say whatever you want, whatever value you want to insert you can give it here okay so if you simply now use the print command you see value is inserted here at the second position okay this is how you can insert it fine this is the second command next is append how do we append it append means if you want to append so what you have to do is demo list the list name dot append so append as the name suggests it will always add the value at the at the end right so let's say uh, i want to append krish okay so if i do this and if i run the print command you see the value is added here at the end this is how we, we can append next is extend okay extend is me extend means uh, you want to extend the list element and uh, while adding some the list element of some other elements list uh, uh, while adding the list elements of some another list okay so let's say i have one more list which is having uh, random values like you know dom okay uh, like like anything you know numerical so etc anything okay so let this is my second list okay so this is my second list so i want to what i want to do is i want to demo list 
this is my first list I want to extend this list using another list okay so what you have to do is you have to you have to put the uh, list name here that with which you want to extend the list okay so now if you print the list you see uh, the list demo list is being extended while uh, adding the elements from the list number two okay which is here so this is how you can extend the list what is next next is uh, reverse okay so I want to reverse the contents reverse the elements of the list so it is like uh, demo list dot reverse okay and then what you have to do is so just no attribute reverse okay so what you have to do is reverse you have to give the list name dot reverse so if you print the reverse if you print the list elements you see now the list elements are reversed okay so uh, actually if you see now whatever elements are there in the list demo list is actually taking the latest value which is the which is this one after extension okay it is not taking the earlier value so whatever is there whatever we are doing which is actually being updated so this is the uh, elements which are which are uh, done which is done after reverse after reversing okay so what i want to do is let's i'll take the initial i'll take the initial list which is which which i had created at the beginning okay so this is my list so what i will do is i'll try to reverse it one more time and if I print it now so if I print it now so you see now it is printing so now you see it is actually uh, printing the color actually reversing the content so Shan is at the end and the Lee is at the beginning okay so this is how you can reverse the list let's try to uh, get the value from this list I can, you can it return the list okay let's say list uh, reversed list is equal to will it give me something like that let's try to print the this value will it return the list after reversing okay so we'll just try to print this okay so print and then this one so you see it's not returning anything okay so uh, but you have to print the actual it's actual lists it itself so uh, after running this command you have to print the 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 demo list itself okay so this is the value after reversing okay what is next next is sort okay sort is like very simple of course the list name demo list dot dot sort okay let's try to print it okay uh, you see uh, the values are sorted now what will happen when we sort it so when we sort the values from a list if it is uh, if it is alphabets you know if it is uh, you know only alpha alphabets in the list it will it will be sorted alphabetically like d comes first and j then l like that okay if my list is containing only numeric values okay like uh, let's say my list is containing only only numeric values like you know one two three or something like that then what will happen okay then it will uh, sort it you know numerically okay so if i do it like this list three dot sort okay and if i try to print it print list list three so now you see it is sorted numerically okay fine what is next next method in the list search okay what I, I want to search for a particular uh, element in the list okay so what I will how, how I will do that so before search I will tell you about the length because length will be used while searching okay so length is very simple all you have to do is take this length operator which is a keyword in Python so you have to specify the list is three so it will return you one two three four five six elements okay if i give a uh, demo list demo list it will give you okay there is nothing like demo list uh, i think i gave you i gave the wrong name okay so you see five one two three four five fine this is how you can get the length fine if you want to print it you can do print 
and then the length of the list okay so this is how you can get the length of the list okay so now what I want to do is I want to I want to uh, search a particular element in the list okay so uh, to search a particular element what you have to do is you have to traverse through the entire list so what I will do is I'll take an op a variable for I in the list so we'll go in a range so range will be uh, uh, starting from 0 to length of the list let's say uh, list 3 which is a numeric list okay so this way this is the this is my for loop okay so now what I will do is if so what I will do is this is my search criteria so if let's say I want to search for 32 okay so if 32 let's say I want to search for 32 right so if 32 is equal to uh, list 3 i which means the position of the list I mean that value of the list then what I will do is I will I will say uh, I will say I will say found okay I mean I will say what I will say that the element 32 is found okay and then we'll we will come out of the loop like we'll break it okay we'll break fine so this is how we can search else else will print okay so now we got an error else okay <clears throat> so now you have to you have to identify it properly so I think it's not identified else okay you have to go again from the beginning okay <coughs> I'll, I'll I don't worry about the program I will club all this uh, all this concept and I'll create a program for that so this is my for loop so if 32 equal to this what I will do is I'll print that that 2 is found and then I'll break from the loop okay else else what I will do I will say print 32 not found right yeah fi okay so okay I think fi is not required so you see uh, 32 is not found why it is saying 32 is not found okay So this is my list 32 okay so why it is saying it's not found okay we'll try one more time this is my this is my for loop and then if 32 is equal to uh, list 3 i fine we'll say uh, we'll say 32 is found we'll break else 32 is not found right yeah 32 not found 32 found okay so what is happening here uh, so it is going for uh, from the loop okay so 32 first in first case it goes in the loop and it sees that here first element is is 23 so it compares with that 23 so 23 is not equal to 32 so it comes it does not go inside this one it comes here it says 32 not found again it goes back okay because for loop is still running so when it comes to 32 it says 32 equal to 32 so 32 is found 32 break. so this is how it is saying right so you got it right so this is how we, we can search for a particular element okay so we'll club all this concept and uh, and uh, we'll create a script uh, very soon okay so now the uh, now next is remove okay so how do we remove a particular element so let's say I have the list right demo list we'll use the same one okay uh, demo list so print demo list okay right so we'll print this demo list and it should, it should be from the beginning yeah 
this is my list so let's say I want to remove something so how do we do that demo list dot dot remove remove and then you have to specify the element that you want to remove let's say I want to remove John okay so uh, you see the, the value is removed and if I spe specify something which is not there in the list okay you see now John is already removed if I try to remove it again it will say that that list that element is not there in the list okay fine pop we'll try next pop is uh, very simple you, all you have to do is give pop if you give like that it will return you the last element from the list so now if you print the list it will not be having shan which is the last element so this is how and the benefit uh, is that it returns that value okay the last element plus it will delete that element from the list this is pop length we already discussed okay so this is all concepts are cleared in this program in this tutorial so after combining all these concepts i have created this program list operations.py so you see uh, i have taken this sample list list one list two okay uh, so what i have taken i have done is i have taken a menu menu where i'll be taking like what user wants to do like he wants to print he wants to insert insert he wants to remove he wants to uh, reverse the uh, list he wants to sort the list he wants to append or anything yeah so we'll go step by step so i'll just uh, run it one once once so, so that you'll be able to understand what it is doing so you see it is printing the list first so it's uh, there are two kinds of list one is a string list and one is numeric list so if i just say one so it'll print the list if i say two so two is like uh, i want to insert some value so while inserting i have given more function uh, uh, you know you know flexibility to the program so it will ask you where to insert like position and the string that you want to insert let's say i want to insert a third position and then you have to specify the value like uh, god okay so you have to give it a space so if i do like that you see god is inserted at 0 1 0 1 2 3 3, three position at this position okay so after inserting it is printing that okay so um, this is uh, how we are inserting let's say you want to get the length of the uh, element so it is it is having seven element one two three four five six seven you want to sort it it will be sorted so there are two types of sorting which is already discussed so one is alphabetically sort and the second one is numeric sort okay next is append if you want to append this so you have to select the option 9 enter value to append okay so let's say I want to append something so I have to specify the value that I want to append okay so if I give value so value will be appended here okay fine so whatever you entered that is appended okay what is next 10 search so if I want to search for a particular character I will give Rocky okay so you see Rocky found in the list at position number 3 0 1 2 3 if I give something which is not there in the list like let's say I am searching for something random okay you see this key is not found so this is pretty simple if I print if I give 11 it is exiting from the program so let's uh, very quickly try to understand it so insert if I go to insert you see what is happening in the insert so I'm taking the position and the string using the raw input so here the input is coming in my INS input and then since I want two values from the list from the input I am splitting the value uh, into two parts the first one like 0 will be the position which is an integer so I am converting it into integer and then I am and the second part which is split 1 I am taking as the string that will be inserted so it is stored in SCRI okay and then I am using this list dot insert at the position which is integer and then the string okay so I'm here I'm I have done a, a very small validation like you know if the user enters something uh, like uh, if the list length itself is 10 and the user is entering like 15 or something or something more than that so that position will be you know that list will get that exception like 
the list uh, length index out of range so that's why I have done this so if the position is bigger than the length of the list I will print that list is not that long okay so this is the concept of insert next is remove if I want to remove a particular element which I have already discussed so uh, before removing right I will uh, validate that uh, whether that particular element is there in the list or not so before removing I am searching also so here I am taking the string and then I am searching that string first before uh, removing okay so uh, it is the same concept that I discussed with you earlier so in the in the range of the list the string that I want to remove I am comparing it with the list i so I am he here I am using a flag which is a which is a boolean boolean flag so I have found I have declared as false so I will make it true if, if that element is there in the list and then I am breaking out of the loop okay so if found means found is true means that this that element that I want to remove is there in the list then only I will remove using the list one dot remove that string and then I will print that it is removed else that I will say that the string is not found so this is how you can perform the, the removing part okay next is very simple uh, pop which is very much clear length is also very much clear reverse very much clear sort append search search I already discussed which is uh, being used in the reverse okay so enter the string you want to search again found is false and then I'm comparing with the list elements if it is found I will set the found is true and then I will print it okay so this is uh, all I could uh, show you uh, in the list operations if you have any query any problems while understanding this program please uh, reach me back comment your questions and I'll definitely help you okay so this is uh, all in this program for list operations uh, that's all guys thank you thanks for watching bye bye